Uh, good afternoon. I'm here with my wife's Smith & Wesson MMP R8. This is an 8-shot rotary BB shooter, but I've bought out one of the actual magazine to shoot pellets in one of my earlier videos. I'm using Superfields at 8.4 grain with a 4.52mm head. So I'm recreating the actual BB shoot. Yep, yeah, it's an outdoor shoot. I've got a target at 10 yards, target at 12.5 metres, 6 cans at 15 metres and 2 cans at 20. So I'm going to take 8 each paper target, then I'll zoom in on the 12.5 metre target, uh, freestanding double action and then I'll go single action for the cans at 15 and 20 metres. So here it goes, so double action, 10 yards, freestanding, 8 shots, see how we do, try and keep still. A little high. First shot could be a little high because of the CO2. Two It. Yep, that's the final shot. So the shooting a little height, so let's bring the target in and we'll have a closer look. Right, so that's not too bad actually. Uh, two there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all nice and central. Uh, I think the hardest thing about this revolver is actually getting the actual foresight at the right height and that's why they're a bit spread vertically but not not horizontally and the reason why is you've got um, you've got an actual V in the rear and square at the front I don't know why they've got a V here it doesn't make a lot of sense to me it should be square um, but I don't know whether it's worth actually filing that and making that square so that dot would sit in there better but yeah to get that just right it's Pretty difficult, and of course you're moving around a little bit. But yeah, 10 yards freestanding, eight shots. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. In fact, it's uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty good. Two in the centre as well. Ball. So yeah, really happy with that. So what we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll pause the video, we'll reload, and then we'll take them at 12 and a half meter uh, paper target, and we'll zoom in on that. So hope you like the little video. Take care. Thanks for watching. Uh, good afternoon. So I'm back with my wife's uh, Smith and Wesson MMP. Uh, Eight. It's an eight shot BB shooter, but it's a body form of the magazine to shoot pellets. We're shooting the RWS Superfields, 8.4 grain with a 4.52 millimeter head. We've got a target 12 and a half meters, paper target, and try and put all eight in there. Free standing double action. See how we do. Difficult to keep still. This wind's picked up a little bit, a bit more breeze. But uh, here it goes. Here it goes. Hit the aim point, keep still, should be all right. I think. Right, let's go bring that target up and see how we did. So, I think there's eight shots there. We'll go have a look. I think there's only seven there. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I don't know if one completely missed. I didn't hear it hit the pellet trap. 
So I might have pulled that one, maybe over here. So yeah, we'll have to review the video, but that's not too bad. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, what's that? That's a, probably an inch and a quarter, inch and a half group at 12 and a half meters. And I was moving around a lot. I was really struggling with my breathing. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. If you can keep still, I don't you can get a, you could easily get eight in there, easy, no problem. Probably even tighter than that, actually, to be fair. So yeah, that's not too bad at all. So um, I hope you like the little bit of shooting video. We're going to reload and we're going to go out to those cans at uh, 15 and 20 metres. Take care, thanks for watching and back shortly. Uh, good afternoon, so I'm back with my wife's Smith & Western MMP R8. This is an 8-shot rotary BB shooter with a modified magazine to shoot pellets. We're shooting the Arduous Superfields, which are 8.4 grain with a 4.5 2mm head. So we've got uh, six cans at 15 metres and two at 20. We're going to try and knock them down. Not sure about the aim point. So quite a long way out. Should do better than the BBs. So I think we'll do maybe maybe low or middle of the can. We're going to do uh, free, uh, free standing. We'll, put, we'll use single action this time and see how we do. So. Bah! I never get six out of six. Get a little more. Right. Okay, so that was six shots, five cans. That leaves me two left. So I'm going to have a crack at those ones at 20 meters. I'll probably have to aim right near the top of them. So a long way out. But I think it's capable of doing it. It is only a four and a half inch barrel, smooth bore obviously, designed for BBs. So uh, let's see, two shots left. I think the aim point will be right near the top of the can, probably over, just over the top of the can actually. So I'm not sure where the first shot went. It might have gone over the top because I did aim a little bit lower for the second can. So yeah, that's pretty good. So these pellets shoot well out of this uh, this revolver. Uh, they are quite a long pellet, uh, uh, 8.4 grain, but they're quite long. And because they, there's two head sizes with the Superfield, either of Superfields, there's a 4.5 bore and 4.52. With a slightly larger head size, I think it works down smooth bores better because I've used this pellet in all my smooth bore revolvers and it does shoot very, very well indeed. Yeah, um, much more accurate than a BB because the way they fly. Okay, so I hope that you like that little shooting video. Uh, there's three little clips together we put together. But yeah, uh, this is like sub 100 in the UK. Yeah, it's all polymer on the outside. All the internals are all obviously metal are important. The magazine is plastic. Um, so, I mean, it was easy to bore out with a 4.5mm drill so you could fit uh, pellets directly in the back. And I'll, I also pre-seat them as well, so they're below, below the actual uh, the service. Yeah, so when you shoot them, yeah, they don't, you don't, don't move. They grip well, but you're better off pushing them in, yeah, putting them on a flat surface and using a cocktail stick to, to pre-seat them down. Yeah, like most magazines. So, yeah, yeah, this is my wife's. Uh, yeah, it's in my only real criticism with this revolver is the rear, I don't know why we've got a rear V sight and a square front because it can be a bit difficult to get that dot exactly in the right position as we found with the free, the uh, 10 yard freestanding we had a nice group that way and it was it was it's quite narrow about an inch, inch and a half but it wasn't that tight that way and it, if that had been a, a, a square sight at the back uh, then I think it was, the actual foresight was sitting it much better okay so yes yeah, it is difficult to get it dead right but there might be a way of actually modifying that, maybe uh, cutting that down, yeah, filing it down and make it into a, a, an actual square, a square rear sight, which would work better with this revolver.
bit a bit of an oddity, but yeah, she shoots well, and she seems pretty good in single action up to 15 and and uh, 20 yards. We should review the video and see how it is. But yeah, uh, for a, a, a cheap sort of hundred pound starter revolver, uh, my wife likes it because it's light. Yeah, it's not very heavy. It's got relatively small grip, so it's okay for youngsters. And obviously, if you cock it, single action, the other trigger comes back, so it makes it even easier to shoot. Okay, you can decock it as well, like that. So yeah, really nice revolver for the money. So I hope you like the little shooting review. Take care. Please subscribe if you like my videos. You know, like I said, just gets you, keeps your notifications. It's all free. Have a great day. Bye for now.